This is Lundy Mountain Drive behind me. It's close to Barberville, actually just off of US 25. In fact, you can probably hear the traffic of US 25 just here in front of me, but you can bet that roads out in the county are a whole lot worse than this. Of course, too dangerous for school buses to travel on. Now, Knox County has missed 20 days of school. They have decided to be in school all of spring break, and on March 20th, which was going to be for professional development, they will also be in school. And if there are no more days missed, the last day as of now will be June the 10th. And a lot of people think it's because the governor declared a state of emergency that automatically, you know, sets those days from last week, you know, as being wiped clear, you know, where we don't have to make them up. But that's not the case. You know, students still have to meet the requirements of uh, the state law. Now, I did ask Shelton about the possibility of Knox County adopting more of a non-traditional format like Boyle and Jessamine counties have. But he says because of the limited internet accessibility and the lack of broadband in some parts of the county, that simply would not be possible. We're going to have a lot more coming up at 6 o'clock, including what some parents think about the situation. For now, in Knox County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Knox County school officials say they'd like to request calamity or disaster days, and we'll be talking to their representatives in Frankfurt about that possibility.